Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and uh, I don't know, maybe that part of the video kind of got cut off a little bit. I'm, I'm just now realizing that when I start my videos, um, it kind of cuts off the beginning, so <laughs> I have to wait a little bit before I start talking. But anyways, I'm on bfm.sbc.net slash bfm2000, and this is the Baptist Faith and Message from the year 2000. And I haven't even looked at most of this. All I did was click on the salvation section to see if they had the right gospel, and they don't. The Southern Baptist Church officially endorses repenting of your sins for salvation. I believe there are saved Southern Baptists, and there are Southern Baptist churches that go and get people saved. However, the official stance of the Southern Baptist Church is not correct. It's just not. And let me go over why. So I highly recommend that you check out uh, my other videos on repentance. I, I think that I have a video on repentance of sins for salvation. But just in case I haven't, let me go to Jonah 3.10 of the King James Version. So Jonah 3.10 says, And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. And God repented of the evil that he had said he would do unto them, and he did it not. So God repented. So that's proof that repentance does not automatically equal repentance from sins, and it automatically doesn't equal uh, sorrow for your sins. Okay? So it's not what repentance means. If you think that's what repentance, repentance means, you are wrong. I highly recommend that you look up the word metanoia and look at what that word means because in the New Testament, that is where we get the word repentance. And it is a change of heart or a change of mind, uh, however you want to phrase that. That's what it means. And in the Old Testament right here, it usually just means to turn. And right here, we have... Uh, a phrase that they turned from their evil way. Look at what look at what the Bible calls that. It calls it works. It calls turning from your evil ways works. Okay. So repenting of your sins is works. And now let's go ahead and look at Romans eleven six. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more of grace, otherwise work is no more work. So grace and works cannot mix. Now let's look at what salvation is, because it's not by works alone. And I just showed you that it can't be works plus grace. So let's look at what it is. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So salvation is a free gift. Uh, it is by grace through faith alone, nothing else. And I have a separate video on James 2 if you want to check that out. Now, finally, let's look at the Southern Baptist uh, Faith and Message 2000. Salvation involves the redemption of the whole man and is offered freely. So there's going to be a contradiction here. Is offered freely to all who accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That part is true. Who by his own blood obtained eternal redemption for the believer. Yep. In its broadest sense, salvation includes regeneration, justification, sanctification, and glorification. There's no part of salvation apart from personal faith in Jesus Christ as Lord. A, regeneration, or the new birth, is a work of God's grace whereby believers become new creatures in, Jesus, in Christ Jesus. It is a change of heart wrought by the Holy Spirit through conviction of sin to which the sinner responds in repentance toward God and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Repentance and faith are inseparable experiences of grace. So this would be true if they had the correct understanding of repentance uh, in the New Testament, which is a change of conscience from unbelief to belief. It's a change of mind. You are going from an unbeliever to a believer. That's it. Now, let's look at what they say repentance is. Repentance is a genuine turning from sin toward God. Faith is the acceptance of Jesus Christ and the commitment of the entire personality to him as Lord and Savior. They could not be more wrong on what repentance is. I just showed you what repentance is. Actually, I just told you what repentance is. I showed you that turning from your sins is works. 
And they say turning from sin toward God is an inseparable experience of grace from faith. That's just not true. And I just showed you in, what, two verses? That that's not true. Let's look at another verse, actually. Let's look at, because I showed you uh, Jonah 310. I showed you that already to prove to you that turning from your evil ways works. Now let's look. Uh, let's look at Romans. Oh, I don't know why it kicked me out of that. Romans 4, 5. Because a lot of people will say, well, it's faith alone, but faith is never alone. You're always going to do works after you're saved. Well, let's look if the Bible supports that. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. So you can work, you can do no works and still be saved. You can do absolutely zero works and still be saved. Well, does the Baptist faith and message say that? It doesn't. It says repentance is genuine, turning from sin toward God, and repentance and faith are inex inseparable experiences of grace. That's not true. I'm just scrolling now because I'm, <laughs> I feel like I need to do something with my hands. I'm frustrated. The Southern Baptist Church is corrupt, and it has at least been corrupt since this... Um, Baptist faith and message came out, and um, who knows if it was beforehand. I haven't even checked. I don't even feel like checking. I don't want to read this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, if you don't agree with me, I recommend you watch some of my other videos, and that's all.